Hello, assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and uh, sisters, wherever you are uh, in this uh, noble country called Kenya. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, logarithms, and that is form 2 concept of mathematics. Okay? We all know that uh, from form 2 to form 4, this concept of mathematics is examined and it is very, very rampant case in C for any other exam. Okay? Logarithm is very, very easy, but there are Two things that you are required to, uh, to know, okay? Uh, the first thing is, uh, you must know when are you, when are you expected to solve or test, or when you are expected uh, to test mantissa and characteristics, okay? The characteristics part and the mantissa part. When are you going to test them? That's the question, okay, guys. Uh, when you encounter such kind of questions in KZC, okay, when you encounter such kind of questions in KZC, uh, this is what you're gonna do. You write the number, just understand that. First, uh, you're going to say number STDF. Remember, we have the number, we have STDF. STDF means what? Stand for, okay? Then we will have the log value of that number, okay? Look at this. Okay. So now uh, we have, uh, forget about this, we'll come uh, to this one later. Then your calculator must be in uh, four decimal points to keep them here. Yeah? Because mostly we use tables, yeah? But you can make your calculator uh, four decimal points, okay? Then it will give you the same value as that of, what? As that of the uh, logbook. Uh, we have that five, look at this one, that 5.6. This number written in the standard form, it will be 3.56 times 10 to the power of 1. Because we say there, when you want to write this number in the standard form, you're going to stand the decimal point, then move to the left. Yeah? And for you to write a number in the standard form, there's a condition here. The condition is a number, one number must come before the decimal. You see? So now we we'll write this one. 1, then get the log value of 3.56 from your calculator, say log 3.56, okay? Then that is 5514, 5514. This is very easy. You don't know why people are saying log is hard. Log is not hard, and it's not even confusing, it's very easy. Then we'll go to the second one, which is 0 0.0613 squared, okay? Bar of two, yeah, we have the bar of two, yeah. So uh, let me write this number in stand form. 1, 2, it will be 6.13 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Then close the bracket. Remember, this is negative 2. Then you are going to factor out the original power. Just understand. You factor out the original power. Yeah? That means you take it out of the bracket. Then uh, get the log, uh, say, bar 2. Bar 2 is this one, which is negative 2. Get the log of this one. Say log 6.13, that will give me 7875, okay? 7875. So what are you going to do with these two? You multiply, okay? You're going to multiply times two now. So this times this, zero carry one, 14 plus one, 15 carry one, 16 plus one, 17 carry one still, 14 plus one, 15 carry one. So this times this one, negative four. Negative four plus one is negative three. Yeah? The power of the power of three for your information. So you write bar three, okay? Bar three. Then underline this thing, okay? Then after that, when you get the log value of the respective numbers, get the, uh, get to know the relationship. We have here multiplication. So you sum them. So uh, for you to avoid uh, confusion, what you do, you can take these numbers. Up there and then add them, okay? Yeah, come to this point, we'll have later, there's no problem. We have 1.5514. We have bar 3, 5, 7, 5, 0. Remember, we're adding because we have, then you have to inform them, show them this. You show them that we are adding these two, okay? Then this will be how much? 4, 6, 12, carry 1, 11, carry 1, 2. Negative 1. So 2 plus negative 3 is what? That is negative 1. 
So this one, you're going to get the one, one, two, six, four. Now, when you come, uh, to, when you come at this, uh, to this point, or when you come at this point, is when you have, uh, uh, you have to say, am I going to test Mantissa and characteristics, or I will go with this uh, value? Okay, you'll be testing why? Because uh, this is what matters a lot. Look here, we have uh, three here, so this means divided by three. We know that negative one is not divisible to three. Yeah, and that's obvious, of course. Negative one is not divisible to three. So you are going to make this negative one to be divisible to three. And you, you have to show your work in yeah? here. Yes, and some that. That you are testing Matisse and characteristics. So the moment this uh, characteristic is not divisible to this lambda, what you're going to do is you will add another negative lambda that can make this lambda to be divisible to the three. Yeah? Yes, and some. So we can say, come to this point, here, come here. You can say, bar one plus bar two. I will add here bar two. The characteristic is bar. Divided by three, which is this one. Then, remember you have taken negative one. You are left with zero here. You will have what? 0 0.1264. Okay, come to this one. Say, zero point, okay? You will also add what? Zero point one two six four. So now, the moment you add negative 2 to the, uh, to the characters, but then add the positive value of that number to the mantissa part, okay? The characters is but you have added negative 2 to make it visible to 3. Then the moment you add negative uh, 2 to uh, the characters, but then add the positive value of that number to the mantissa. So we are going to say here, uh, plus 2. So it will give us what? It will give us 2 point. Yes, and start. 2 point. 1, 2, 6, 4. Divided by 3 also. Then get the character that we know here we'll get by 1. We'll get because it will be negative 3 divided by 3. So here I have 2.1264 divided by 3. Yeah? Yes, and start. That is uh, 780. Okay. Okay, this means we have here by one seven zero eight eight. So this is when you're going to get the anti lock of uh, these uh, numbers after the decimal. So then show them say anti lock. Then if you want to get from the calculator the anti lock of this number, you're going to say shift lock. That is the opposite of what of lock or the reverse of lock. Then give up you know point seven zero. 8, 8. So that will give me 5.1145. I will have 5.1145. Then I will raise this one times 10 the power of negative 1. Don't forget. So my final answer will be that means divide this one by 10. So it will be 0 0.5115. Okay, that will be the final answer for your information. Divide this one by uh, negative uh, 10 the power of negative 1 that means dividing this value by 10 okay and remember in lock when you have a negative bar we are going to divide and when you have a positive bar we are going to uh, multiply yes understand that you know it's very very important to understand this thing chronologically okay they are trying uh, uh, test us whether we know how to test the Matisse and the Kansasi bar so the moment you come to this point this way students always get wrecked, okay? Uh, when you come to this point, this negative one is not divisible to three. So you are going to make it to be divisible to three by adding another negative lambda, which can make it to be divisible to three. And the moment you add a negative lambda to the, the characteristic part, then you will add a positive value of that lambda to the mantissa part. Don't forget that, in case there is a, okay? And that's how you're going to solve such kind of uh, question in case you see, guys. I'll give you more examples, don't worry. I'll give you what? More examples so that you uh, enjoy during uh, your extra time, guys. So now let's see example two. Let us see example two, guys. Let us see our example two. Okay. 
let us see our example to you guys. Let us see the second example. The same same instruction you are told use mathematical tables to evaluate. You have this number. Okay? You have this number, guys. You have this number. You have 2.935 times 0 0.0765. Divided by we have uh, that 2.74. So this time we don't have a number here. The question here is what are we going to do in our final calculation? Okay? That's the question here. The moment you are not given here a number, remember we have two which hidden here because this is square root, okay? And a square root means what? Means a half. About a half, okay? So the square root sign is always power a half. So we are going to multiply the final answer power a half, yeah? Before we proceed to the antilog value. Just understand that, okay? This log is very easy. I don't know why people are saying log is very hard. Log is not hard, by the way. Very enjoyable again. Uh, let's come to the solution part. We are going to say number STDF, okay? Standard formula, yeah? just understand. When I'm saying STDF, I'm saying, I'm talking about standard formula. Yeah? STDF, then we'll have the log value. Okay. Let's go, guys. Take your time. Find the number. We have 2.935. In a stand form, it will be 2.935 times 10 to the power of 0. Why? Because this number is written in simplest form. So we cannot write this number. If you want to write this number in stand form, you are going to use 10 power 0 because 10 power 0 is one, it's not bring any change. Just yes, understand that. And the condition is one number must come before the decimal, and we have one number already. So we write as 0, which is this one. Then get the calculator, say, look here, say lock, lock 2.9935, okay? That is 4676, six, yeah? We have put 676. Okay, like these values. Then uh, we have also 0 0.0765. Okay? 65. Then in the standard form, it will be 1, 2. That is 7.65 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Then you write here negative 2 or about 2. Then get for me the lock, lock, 7.65, that is 88, we have 88, that's 7, okay? Then we add these two, because we have the relationship, which is what, multiplication, so we will add, so add these ones, 3, get the values here, yeah? get the final, add them, add them, this, we will have 13, 3 carry 1, 8, 11 carry 1, 7, 15 carry 1, 13 carry 1. So it will be bar 1. This understand. Logarithm is very easy. So this is the result. So they will give you in the examination. Remember this will carry what? Uh, 4 marks. So this is what they are going to say. M1, mark 1, okay? Mark 1. This is half and this is half. Just understand. Now let's go and uh, proceed to the next one. We have 32.74, okay? We have 32.74. In the standard form, it will be 3.274 times 10 to the power of 1. So get for me uh, the log. Uh, before we get, we get the log value, let me write this one. 1 point, get log 3.274, 5, 1, 5, 1. Okay? 5, 1, 5, 1. Okay. Now, remember this division, yeah? This one. Division, this sign. So, division means subtraction. So, we subtract these two again. We are going to say, subtract these two. So, it will be how much? Let's get the final answer. Subtract these two. 
So subtract that will be 2, 6, 3. Here, now come to this point. It's very interesting, by the way. You see, now we have here 3 and here 5. So we will borrow 1 from negative 1. Okay? But the moment you borrow 1 from negative 1, here you will have negative 2. Don't forget that. Learn the number like that. It's very important for one concept. So here, 13 minus 5 is what? 8. Just understand that. So here I have what? Negative, negative uh, 2. So I will say negative 2 minus, minus 1. That is negative 3. So I write here, negative 3. Then close here. <laughs> Very interesting again. So when you look at this one, because we said here we have 2 which is there. Just understand. So because we can write this one as power of, power a half. So we can now say times a half or divided by 2. You can even say divided by 2. The moment you don't have a number here. Now, can you see now this number is not divisible to 2. So we will add negative 1 here. We are going to say by 3 plus by 1 divided by 2. Then I say that the moment you add here a negative number, the, character, the characteristic part, add a positive value of that number to the mantis part. So it will be 1.8362 divided by 2 or so. Then here, obviously, you're going to get what? Negative 2. Point. Because negative 3 plus negative 1 is what? Negative 4. Divided by 2 is what? Negative 2. So we're going to say 1.8 again. 362 divided by 2, okay? So that's 9181. 9181. 9181. So bring it here. We have but 2, 9, 1, 8, 1. Then get for us the antelope of this one now. Antelope. So antelope. We are going to say shift lock the point 9181. Okay, 9181. So this would be uh, we will have 8.2 8. 8.2 8.2 8, 8 times 10 the power of what? Negative 2. Which is this one? 10 the power of negative 2. Just understand that. So that means divided by 100. You divide by 100 this one. So divided by 100. So this will give us uh, it will give us 0 0.0828, okay? This is the final answer uh, for your information, guys. So, testing the mantissa and the kastasi part is very, very important, okay? And majority of the teachers don't emphasize at the school level. And you must know this thing, okay? Know that this. Uh, we will also add uh, one more example so that you capture this concept. Very, very well, yeah. So now let's proceed and see now this one. Example 3. I, I hope you are getting this thing. When you come to this point, please. You know that if a lamp is not given here, we have 2 which is here. Again, 2 is not divisible to negative 3. Our, our characteristic part, okay? Then add a negative, negative 1 to this one. So it becomes what? Negative 4. The moment you add negative 1 to this side, then add what's coming after the decimal. A positive value of that number for you to go ahead with that calculation and get the right answer okay now let's go ahead and see another another example i hope you have digested this one okay let's go and see another example guys let's go and see another another example okay let's go and see another example guys Let's see one more example. Uh, here we have, uh, look at this one. We have this one. Remember the instruction is the same. Use the logarithm to evaluate, okay? This is, we have here the cube, it's three. Here we have a three, just a sum. Then here we have uh, that 6.15. Times zero point zero two five seven three. 
divided by 1.938 okay 1.938 now we will also follow the same procedure we're going to say coming to the solution we'll have the number we'll have our stdf then you have the log value of that number okay now let's go and see okay let's go and what and see our calculations okay we have three point sorry that's six point one five and the standard form it to be 3.615 times 10 to the power of what? The power of 1, okay? And like this one. Then right here, 1. Get for me the log of 3.615. Log 3.615, okay? This is 5581. You have 5581, yeah? Just understand that. Then we will proceed to the next number. We have 0 0.025. 73 and it's time for me to be 1 2 that is 2.573 2 2.5 1 2 10 the power of negative 2 then underline also this one so i'll write here negative 2 get for me the log of log log 2.573 okay so that is 4104. 4104. So what are we going to do? We will add these two. Add them because we have uh, multiplication as a relation. Yeah? Yes and so. Add them. 5, 8, 6, 9, bar 1. Okay? This is mark 1. Okay? A half plus a half to give you what? One mark. Then we'll proceed ahead and get the other one. 1.938. 1.938. And starting from this one, and starting from it to be 1.938 times 10 to the power of 0. So I'll write here 0. I'll write here what? 0 0.3. Let me write here 0. 0 0.3 log 1.938 so what are we going to do we will subtract subtract this now we we'll have one here again one here 16 eight here we are left with seven five so this is still negative one then underline this one. Remember, we're going to divide this one by, by 3. So it's not divisible. Come and test the mantis here or here. Okay? Let's test our mantis so that we are left with the nerve space there. Because this number is not divisible to 3. So we will add negative 2 here. And on the other side, we will add positive 2. So we are going to say negative 1 plus negative 2 divided by 3. Then here I will have, the moment you take negative 1, you are left with 0. Then add to positive 2, it will be 2.8, sorry, 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 2.5. 2.5811 divided by 3 also. Here, I know I will get what? Bar 1, because it will be negative 3 divided by 3. Let me, let me check this one. 2.5811 divided by 3, that is... 8604. 8604. So we'll come here and write bar 1 8604. Then you're going to say what? Antilock. Antilock of what's coming after the decimal. So we'll say shift lock point 8604. So that is 7.251. So it will be. 7.2510 times 10 to the power of negative 1. So the final answer is dividing this one by 10. So that is 0 0.7251. Uh, this is uh, the final answer for your information, guys. Okay, I hope you are getting this thing. This thing is very, very easy, guys. Okay, make sure you grab this kind of knowledge. Okay, in our next uh, class, God willing, we are going to see. Uh, more complex examples, uh, uh, God willing, 
This thing is always tested in every case, you know that. Guys, you must take advantage of this class, okay? It is an academic class. It's not a class which is based on comic issues. Make sure you subscribe this noble YouTube channel and share with your family members and friends. Otherwise, I wish you the best.